you're welcome to yuga talk and please keep subscribing and sharing these video clips to help benefit our communities today in this episode we shall be looking at the health benefits of having sex i'm paul capel did you know that sex is an important factor in your life sex and sexuality are part of life aside from reproduction sex can be about intimacy and pleasure sexual activity penetrative vaginal intercourse or pvi can offer many surprising benefits to all facets of your life physical intellectual emotional psychological and social benefits sexual health is more than avoiding diseases and unplanned pregnancies it is also about recognizing that sex can be an important part of your life according to the american sexual health association so how can sex benefit your body this study suggests that sex can be a good cardiovascular exercise in young men and women though sex isn't enough exercise on its own it can be considered a light exercise Some of the benefits you can get from sex include lowering blood pressure, burning calories, increasing heart health, strengthening muscles, reducing your risk of heart disease, stroke and hypertension, increasing libido. People with active sex lives tend to exercise more frequently and have better dietary habits than those who are less sexually active. Physical fitness may also improve sexual performance overall. There are many ways to improve your sexual performance. That is to say, a stronger immune system. In a study of immunity in people in a romantic relationship, people who had frequent sex one to two times a week had more immunoglobulin A, that is to say, IgA in their saliva. People who had infrequent sex less than once a week had significant less IgA. IgA is an antibody that plays a role in preventing illness and is the first line of defense against human papilloma virus or HPV. But those who had sex more than 3 times a week had the same amount of IgA as those who had infrequent sex. The study suggests that anxiety and stress can possibly cancel out the positive effects of sex. Also having a better sleep is good. Your body releases oxytocin, also called the love or intimacy hormone, and endorphins during an orgasm. The combination of these hormones can act as sedation. Better sleep can contribute to a strong immune system, a longer lifespan, feeling more well rested, and having more energy during the day. Having sex also contributes to headache relief. Another study shows that sexual activity can provide full or partial relief from migraines and cluster headaches. Of people who were sexually active during their attacks, 60% reported an improvement during a migraine. 70% reported moderate to complete relief during a migraine. 37% reported improvement of symptoms in cluster headaches. 91% reported moderate to complete relief in cluster headaches. How sex can benefit all genders. In men, a recent review found that men who had more frequent penile vaginal intercourse PVI had less risks of developing prostate cancer. One study found that men who averaged having sex four to seven ejaculations a week were 37% less likely to receive a prostate cancer diagnosis before the age of 70. This is in comparison to men who reported ejaculating 2.3 or fewer times a week on average. For men, a sex may even and affect your mortality. One study that had a 10 year follow up reported that men who had frequent orgasms defined as two or more a week had a 50% lower mortality risk than those who had sex less often. Although results are conflicting, the quality and health of your sperm may increase with increased sex activity as some research suggests. In women, having an orgasm increases blood flow and releases natural pain relieving chemicals. Sexual activity in women can improve bladder control, reduce incontinence, relieve menstrual or premenstrual cramps, improve fertility, build stronger pelvic muscles, and also help to produce more vaginal lubrication. 
sex also helps women potentially protect against endometriosis or the growing of tissue outside your uterus. The act of sex can help strengthen your pelvic floor. A strengthened pelvic floor can also offer benefits like less pain during sex and reduce chance of vaginal prolapse. One study shows that PVI, penile vaginal intercourse, can result in reflexive vaginal contractions caused by penile thrusting. Women who continue to be sexually active after menopause are less likely to have significant vaginal atrophy or thinning of vaginal walls. Vaginal atrophy can cause pain during sex and urinary symptoms. Did you know that also sex can help benefit your mental health? Sexual activity with a partner or through masturbation can provide important psychological or emotional benefits like exercise. Sex can help reduce stress and anxiety and increase happiness. Studies suggest that sexual activity defined as PVI may correlate with increased satisfaction with your mental health, increased levels of trust, intimacy, and love in your relationships, improved ability to perceive, identify, or express emotions, lessened use of your immature psychological defense mechanism or the mental process to reduce distress from emotional conflict. At an older age, sexual activity may affect your well-being and ability to think. Research found that sexually active adults between 50 to 90 years old had better memory. They were also less likely to feel depressed and lonely. Sex is a confidence booster. Frequent sexual activity can make you look younger. This is partially due to the release of estrogen during sex. One study found that a correlation between frequent sexual activity and looking significantly younger, between 7 to 12 years younger. The majority of these individuals were also comfortable expressing their sexuality and sexual identity. Sex can also benefit you socially. Sex can help you connect to your partner. Thanks to ostocin, ostocin can play a role in developing relationships. You may find that consistent mutual sexual pleasure helps with bonding within a relationship. A coupled partners often have increased relationship satisfaction when they fulfill one another's sexual desires. You may find positive growth in your relationship when you're able to express yourself and your sexual desires. Thanks for watching this clip. Hope you enjoyed it. Please, please subscribe and continue sharing our video clips to continue benefiting the community. I remain Paul Capel.